Howdy folks, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today I'm going to show you guys how we match a texture. Uh, one of the things I want to show you too is, I've explained this in about 20 videos. If you're going to put a, um, a cementitious finish over a color coat or a painted surface, apply the bonding agent to the wall. Now, the fellows here, I can tell they applied the bonding agent into the cementitious mix. How do I know that? Because, see this piece, how it bends? That's got a, the bonding agent in it, and it's got an acrylic, so it bends. You don't want that. This is not an acrylic material. This is the cementitious finish. Now, how do I know that? Because if you wet it, you wet it, it darkens. That's cementitious. So, the idea, guys, is, and I have this asked a lot of times, how do you apply a color coat maintenance free cementitious finish to a wall? Well, you do this, guys. I'm using a, a bonding agent and it's, um, it's, it's blue. It's uh, Larson's. It's, it's called Weld Creep. And okay, I'm making a big mess, but to prove a point, I use this uh, blue Larson's because, say, I mean, of course, Jay and I. We're, we're kind of a family-oriented biz business. We have our, uh, I have my other two sons with me also, and we know what's going on. But say a company that has 10 guys, 10 guys, you can't see, if you use the white bonding agents for here, you might miss a whole wall. Now, this fellow here, he took this, this uh, pressure washer and he used, uh, he used uh, 2600 PSI to remove all this plus he scraped it when I got here I thought I want to make sure so I used it nothing else came off so it's most of its off that's going to come off so anyway guys I'm going to show you how we now match this because the fellows that did this they they dashed it how do I know they dashed it and they used a hand hopper because you can look at the wood here that's uh it's all over the wood where they didn't cover it that's you could throw it on by hand or you can just use a hand hopper and blow it on so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, they did at least two to three coats. It's uh, roughly about three-eighths of an inch thick in some spots. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I will spread it with uh, my first coat, allow that to set, and then just double it back up. Okay, guys, we got a lot of things going on with this wall. What I've done in some areas where it come off where it's uh, three-eighths of an inch thick, I went ahead and spread it with cement. Here, I'm just spreading this with uh, color coat. And by the time this dries, I'm gonna hit it with the proper grit. This is 2030, this is 1620. All I'm doing is filling it up to get it to its, its correct thickness. I'm gonna take the whole wall, and then I'll show you the final coat. Okay, guys, now we're feathering, we're feathering in a quarter inch to here. This is not something any of you guys can do that you don't have, if you don't have at least five years of of floating this. Uh, this is not something I can help you guys with because it takes so much practice. If you don't, if you go too too hard, you push it and you give that same indentation. So I don't recommend anybody try doing this part here, floating cement into a cementitious finish and trying to get the joints proper. You're better off with a scratch and brown on the whole wall. But anyway, we do this all the time and we're almost at the stage where now I'm going to skim coat the entire thing. Okay guys, the party's over for me. Jay was spreading and I was floating right behind him. So now, in order to show you guys what we're doing, I got to spread. And we're, we ended up doing the whole wall, guys. If you do the whole wall, that's the best way to get out all the imperfections. And we're going with a heavy texture. It's uh, 1620 to match a dash finish. You say, what is that? Technical stuff, guys. Anyway, what I do is go ahead and fill this hawk up like so and just start from the bottom. We're using a heavy material so you can't get long stretches. Some materials like like Santa Barbara, I can get an eight foot stretch. I just come all the way to the top, go all the way down. But when you're using 1620, this got heavy grit. So, 
what you do is you apply it do a little bit more and then I'll show you how we float it that's how we're getting the same finish that they started off with without having to dash it and again folks this wall looks like a, a rainbow wall with all the different colors of different procedures we've been doing no matter they're painting it anyhow so it doesn't matter come up come on down we come up guys come on down and what I'll do is I'll show you how we're tying all this together all right now what I do is take the handy dandy wet sponge float a lot of water guys and I float into my finished product so I'm floating into here because I've already got my top done with a lot of water gives it that heavy look and then I'm floating into here which has got this is already set here and I'm taking my new float and bringing it to the existing float and again guys they're painting it so we're just uh, going a little overboard but uh, I told them we'll give them perfection on this wall here and that means corner to corner we, I'm as good as the next fellow of doing patchwork and that's what I bid it at as just to patch it in but we're here I figured it's not too much longer for us to go ahead and float the entire wall off we got another 10 minutes we'll be done with the entire wall and then we'll clean up and show you the final finished product okay guys we are complete we're showing you this one wall but we did quite a few walls and the moral to this story or the moral to this video is do not add the bonding agent to a cementitious material and expect it to bond to a wall. If you want an, a, a material that's flexible, buy an acrylic. They stick to everything. You won't even need to apply the bonding agent. They have a primer instead. Anyhow, uh, we've gone from wall to wall, from floor to ceiling completely. The texture is solid, it's uniform, and that's the way it should be done. Anyhow, folks, if you like to see any types of jobs performed, click below this video and hit the comments and say, Kirk, how about showing me this or that? And we'll include it sometime in the future. Anyhow, my name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering, Jason on the camera. And as usual, folks, we'll see you guys on the next one.